So this uh, project is looking at um, the effect of um, inequality, specifically in income inequality on political stability uh, in Russia and China. Um, and we're taking uh, a range of different uh, kinds of evidence uh, to, to look at this question. It's interesting from, um, first of all, I guess there's uh, an ethical question. Uh, Russia and China are famous as uh, undemocratic countries. So uh, how do we as UK uh, citizens feel about uh, dealing with undemocratic countries, uh, particularly if uh, the perception is that e economic inequality is, uh, is very high, that the, you know, the system is unfair? Um, that's the ethical dimension uh, on uh, a sort of a more pragmatic or real politic level, the question of, of uh, political stability uh, is in great importance to investors and, uh, you know, as we see uh, in other parts of, you know, the former Soviet Union like uh, Ukraine, when a political situation blows up, it has all sorts of uh, repercussions. Um, and although China and, and Russia appear stable, uh, the question, you know, the question in our minds is, is that a, 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 a genuine stability or is it a kind of uh, rigidity or, which is uh, ultimately quite fragile? It's, uh, it's early days in the project. Um, we are uh, we're finding a, a lot of uh, contrast uh, between Russia and China. Uh, one area is the perception that Chinese are less concerned about inequality I think that that perception perhaps needs to be moderated by looking at different kinds of data as we do in our project um, because uh, actually Chinese people have, have uh, an, an, uh, the ideal of uh, income inequality is um, uh, one to which the, um, a great number of people, the majority of people in China are quite attached. Um, but they also, uh, compared to Russia, there seems to be a slightly more get up and go spirit in China in terms of how people perceive their own responsibilities and, you know, in terms of their own incomes and, and lifestyles. Um, also, in terms of uh, the, you know, the findings, uh, we have uh, an interesting sort of local, uh, uh, central local dimension in uh, uh, Ch both Chinese and Russian politics. So, for instance, in China, we found that uh, central g trust in the central government is extremely high, and trust in local government is is uh, considerably lower. And part of the reason for that is that the central government is perceived as being on the side of ordinary people, uh, helping to resolve problems of. Uh, social and economic inequality, and local government is copying some of the blame uh, for, you know, systemic failures within the Chinese uh, social economic system.